This is the morning office for March 30th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross, and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 4 and 15 and 16. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, A mortal, born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one can. Since their days are determined and the number of their months is known to you and you have appointed the bounds that they cannot pass, look away from them and desist that they may enjoy like laborers their days. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will never cease. Though its root grows old in the earth, and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud, and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake, and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again. Until the heavens are no more, they will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If mortal di mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service I would wait until my release should come. The word of the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no living, no one living be justified. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. On this Saturday between Good Friday and Easter Sunday, it seems that the world has managed to silence God. It seems that the silence of death has been victorious. And yet those of us who have read to the end of the story know better. Somehow on this day, the silence of God is already triumphing against death in ways that we cannot truly understand. The silence of death is indeed swallowed up in life if we will but wait until 
this evening as darkness falls and Easter Sunday begins. So on this last day of Lent, we have one last chance to wait in silence, to be patient in silence, to savor perhaps the silence, knowing that in it great things are happening even now, every day of our lives, every minute of our lives, as God acts in ways that are beyond our understanding, and yet they will lead us to great joy in only one more day. I ask your prayers for the day, for the world, and for the church, for those preparing to celebrate Easter tonight, for those who will be baptized, for those who will be received into the church, and especially for all those who will celebrate this holiday in the Middle East, that there will be peace for them, peace, health, and general goodwill at this time when so little goodwill is to be found in many parts of the world. O God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so we may await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.